D-D-D-I-Y. There's a clip from Russ that I think represents the way that a lot of artists and a lot of producers release music. Independent juggernaut, somebody who gives out so much game. He talks about the campaign that he initially went on that helped him rise to notoriety. What I want to get into is what he says about albums and whether that still applies to today. Dropping albums when you have no fans and no connections, no one gives a no one's trying to listen to an album from someone they don't know and from someone that no one else told them to listen to. And I was like, before I put out another album on deaf ears, I was looking at SoundCloud. I noticed that the first song on the album had the most plays and then it would go down from there. Everyone's down to listen to the first song. It's that second song that gets tricky. And so I was like, I'm just going to put out one song every week because y'all are clearly down to listen to one song. I did two things. I made an album and I had 26 songs ready to go that were not on the album. The end goal was always to still put out another album. I just needed to get the video visibility of how am I going to increase my visibility I got to get people tuned in let me put out singles that will single-handedly get their attention and then I'll give them the album I was putting out song a week song a week song a week and it ended up paying off because as we figured out people can listen to one song it's tough to get them to listen to an album and being consistent with great music the music blew up I was prepared for that which is why in the moment of momentum I gave my debut album He's pointing out that this model that you see now really helped to build up a fan base and a following for Russ, who had that as his primary goal. Instead of trying to bombard an audience as an up and coming artist with a full project, Russ said, well, based upon the metrics, you guys are willing to listen to the first two or three. But after that, it falls off dramatically. People make their choices. They latch onto it for whatever reason or how they got a hold of it. However, I feel a little bit different about what he says about albums. No one's trying to listen to an album from someone they don't know and from someone that no one else told them to listen to. And I was like, I respect what he's saying because it is true of most artists that if you're trying to get somebody to give a damn about who you are and what you do, asking them to invest a whole hour, say your project is an hour long project, 45 minutes even. 30 minutes even that's asking for a hell of a commitment for somebody who doesn't have to care it's a lot easier to get one minute of a three minute song than it is for somebody to get through 50 percent of an hour long or 30 minute project there's no denying that however i do think that if he's expressing that the goal was to release a song every single week in order to lead people into the release of his album to gain so much momentum that people are excited and can't wait for an album, there's still another skill set that needs to be built. And to me, that's the art of creating an album. Now, how important that is to you nowadays, I'm not here to debate that. I think that there are people who still want to sit with the body of work because it represents almost like how a, a photo album represents a time in somebody's life. It represents a time in the life of their favorite artist if they're a fan of you, right? So there's value in still creating albums. But I think that if you do this single campaign, make sure that you're still taking your shots at creating an album because you need to learn the art form of creating an album. That doesn't just happen because you learn the art of releasing music on a consistent basis. Putting together an album that keeps the retention high, that tells a story that goes on a roller coaster of a journey. That's a skill set you're only going to learn through practice. Like before I put out another album on deaf ears, I was looking at SoundCloud. I noticed that the first song on the album had the most plays and then it would go down from there. Everyone's down to listen to the first song. It's that second song that gets tricky. And so I was like, I'm just going to put out one song every week because y'all are clearly down to listen to one song. I did two things. I made an album and I had 26 songs ready. He was working on an album in the process. And I hope that that's something that doesn't get lost in the shuffle because I see a lot of artists who record a a shit ton of songs just because most people won't care about if you release an album i don't think that's enough reason not to release an album how will you know that football is a sport for you until you play the full game if you only jump in on the first quarter on the first play of the game that might be enough excitement to make you think you could have a 20-year career in the nfl damn that shit is fast paced it's exciting you have not exerted the amount of energy necessary to understand what a real nfl career is and i think it's the same thing with just releasing the songs you gotta be making albums i think if i were to alter this plan for myself in 2023 because this was some time ago it wouldn't so much be about releasing a song a week i would release a song a week but that's not the focus the focus is how do i campaign for each individual song what content do i have lined up for this individual song behind the scenes footage of how i made the beat and made the song is it lifestyle clips 
where I'm in some super 4K vertical video walking across the water and the music just kind of accentuates the background of it and makes people ask, what is that sound? Is it me using a micro clip of somebody that motivates me and putting my music in the background of it? Is it me creating some really trippy visualizer that makes people enticed to want to hear more about it? Is, is it me taking a viral clip and figuring out a way to incorporate it with my music? I don't know what it is, but that to me seems like in this age of content, that is much more worth your time than thinking about the event around every single week. What is the content for it? The end goal was always to still put out another album. I just needed to get the visibility. Of How am I going to increase my visibility? I got to get people tuned in. Let me put out singles that will single handedly get their attention and then I'll give them the album. We're too creative to only put all of our creativity into the music. There's a lot of people right now who are like, cool, I can make songs in my sleep. Let's do that every week. But the same way that you talk about the album falling upon deaf ears, well, this one's probably even worse because think about all the amount of work that was exerted to creating artwork for all of these songs, the energy that you put behind it to bring together features that you may have on the songs. Think about just all of the footwork to promote these songs without a proper plan. Those two will fall on deaf ears. You know how many artists are producers that promote their shit all the time for a year? I followed them, but I also muted them a year ago. Because it's the same shit over and over and over again. I joke about it, but their damn profiles look like it looked like our only fan page for SoundCloud. All you got is waveforms, naked ass waveforms all over your profile. It looks like you work for SoundCloud. Putting out song a week, song a week, song a week. And it ended up paying off because as we figured out, people can listen to one song. It's tough to get them to listen to an album and being consistent with great music. The music blew up. I was prepared for that, which is why in the moment of momentum, I gave my debut album. In 2023, we have to rid ourselves of the idea that once an album drops, the music is old. I think that's an old concept because we got to ask the question, who was it old to? Our fans? You mean the same fans that want to see us do well as independents? You mean the same fans that will say things like, man, I wish more people knew about you. You're my favorite artist. You're my favorite producer. You think they're going to grow tired of you campaigning for yourself? Or do you think that they would see a reason to campaign along with you? But that project that got 150 streams, even 150,000. Dog, there's 8 billion people on this earth and you're not going to get all of them. You might even get a 1% of them, but there's a lot of people and a lot of opportunities that you have yet to come in contact with. And all you have to do is see something for the first time and it resonate with you and you make a decision. I don't think that he's wrong. I think that that advice has stood the test of time, but I think there are bigger developments in content and in where people's focus are at, where just the brute work of putting the music out is not enough and also this idea that nobody will ever listen to the album well the same thing can happen to the first 25 songs that you release every single week if you want to make your albums make your albums and if you want to push songs individually from that album so you got 14 tracks for the next 14 weeks do it but i do think there's a value to still creating albums because if you learn the art form if you learn how to curate if you learn how to tell stories how to strike up emotions through sounds that is a skill set that you can carry to every song in my opinion but those are my thoughts you let me know what you think DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.